All right, yeah, so the first thing we're going to look at is our fee cover functionality. Um, so pretty straightforward. It is a field that you can add to your Engaging Networks donation pages, um, generally displayed as a checkbox. Supporters can check that, and then a either flat fee or percentage amount gets added to their donation, um, with the idea being that uh, it's to cover any um, any fees that you, you get from your payment processor. Um, so just to kind of show what that um, what that's like and how you to your forms. Very, uh, it's very easy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually just preview this page first. So this is a page that um, has that feature in place. Um, so this is kind of like a standard donation page setup. Um, we're in and monthly, um, uh, string of donation amounts. Uh, this is the fee cover field here. So you'll see you check this box and select a donation amount. Um, and then in addition to um, the field and that functionality, we also have merge tags that you can display to supporters to show them uh, the fee that they're paying as well as the total amount with their donation included. So to show what that looks like um, on kind of the back end and page builder, we're just going to go and edit the page. And uh, we have our form block here. It has our donation amount. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And then pretty much like any other field in Engaging Networks, this is going to have um, kind of that drag and drop functionality. So um, this isn't a field that needs to be added to your, uh, uh, to your uh, account data structure. This is a field that will just um, exist in your account by default. Um, and it's called fee cover. Um, so you'll see it available over here um, on the left as, um, as a field. You can simply drag and drop it onto your form block. And then if we click to expand that field, you'll see that there is some configuration that you can do. Um, so you can either offer the fee cover as a percentage of the donation amount or um, a, a fixed amount. Um, uh, in addition to offering the fee, you can also set a like a maximum threshold. Um, so you know maybe if you have you know your major donors, they're coming to your pages, they're giving ten thousand dollars. Maybe you want to you know limit the amount that the fee can um, be set to. Um, you can set that here as well. Um, you can also customize the the language that you have surrounding that field. So um, there's a label, so that's that would go uh, kind of above the checkbox, and then there's the text, which kind of goes to the side of the checkbox. Um, and then in terms of um, other options, there's also the option to have it either pre-checked or unchecked. Um, I would say anecdotally, we have heard that um, having it unchecked is actually uh, tested a little better for, some, for clients. Um, uh, so in addition to the field itself, like I said, there's also um, just merge tags that you can use in text blocks. Um, so if we go to this text block, for example, We'll go to edit. Um, those values are going to be available under this two coin icon. So this just allows you to insert the donation total and then the donation fee. Um, so you can demonstrate to client or sorry to supporters, um, you know what amount they'll be charged. Um, another thing we're kind of seeing more frequently is um, clients using that merge tag in the button text. Um, so it'll say right on the button when the supporter goes to give the amount that they're. Um, they're going to pay. And the, uh, the merge tag works even if they don't choose to use to uh, add the fee. Uh, 